How's the ice cream? It's okay. I prefer soy ice cream, though. It's funny, you don't look like your dad. That's because the alkali gene is recessive. <laughs> I think we're gonna get on. Why do you dress like that? This is how I feel comfortable. Don't you feel comfortable in what you're wearing? No, this school uniform gives me a rash. But I know what you mean, though. I have this pair of pyjamas that I like so much. I have my mum buy seven pairs of them, one for every day of the week. I mean, my dead mum. How did your parents meet? Their, uh, their pharmacist introduced them. His name was Eclipse. Are you married? No. I used to be. To Gwen's mum. Mm -hmm. She divorced you because you dress like a lady. You ask a lot of questions. You skip a lot of questions. <laughs> Where'd you go then, kiddo? Uh, we're in a bit of a hurry. Where have you two been? I uh, just went outside for a smoke. I love smoking. Your flies aren't done. Can I have a word? It's not what you think. My flies are always coming undone, and I just think it's a manufacturer. Shut up. I know we've had our differences, but I also know how hard it is being a single dad. And I have to respect you for the job you've done on your little kid. He's a good boy. Maybe you're not the useless prick I thought you were. Thank you. Mm. But you still hurt my little girl, and I will rip oh, your... Yeah, dick spoon. Yeah, I got you. All right. We have to go. Oh, do you really? We were having such a nice time. Yeah, I know, but I've got to get this one to piano lesson. Have I, Maestro? Touch me. Boundary issues. When can I see you again? Well, that depends. How committed are you to changing? I'll show you how committed I am. Gwen. Marry me. I'm not his son. Look, he paid me to say that. Don't listen to him. My name's not Romeo, it's Errol. What sort of a stupid name is Errol? He's just angry his mum couldn't come along and pick him up after school. You told me his mum was dead. She is. That's part of the problem. Dad! When do you remember when we were more than friends? Do you remember when? Every time that you get cold, I put my coat around your shoulder I make you flowers in a bunch and buy you tampons every month I rubbed your shoulders when they hurt, I helped you finish your dessert I flushed that spider down the bath, I punched my dick to make you laugh I compliment you on your dress, I shut my mouth when you got stressed I buy you drinks and get you drunk, I'd even clean up my own mess When do you remember when I was your best boyfriend Oh, take me back again Oh Gwen, oh Gwen, 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 Gwen I took you on the Ferris wheel I let you pay for half a meal When you were looking very hard I helped you find your credit card I fixed your teeth up that I broke I tried to listen when you spoke I said that I was in the wrong And then I wrote this fucking song Gwen, Gwen, Gwen. I think I got the plan Have there been other men Do you remember when Oh Gwen, 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 Gwen Hello. Where are you? You're on in an hour. We're not going to make it. Sorry. Useless fat twat. You're still not going to tell me what happened? You know, me and your uncle Andy used to fight all the time. I mean, we still do, but not like we used to. I remember one time he was going through a glam phase and he borrowed my stirrup leggings without asking. Yeah, he was a lot thinner back then. Anyway, I found him in the laundry with a massive split up the bum and he wouldn't admit to it. So what did you do? I cut nipple holes in the Stone Roses t-shirt, but that's not the point. The point is, is that I forgave him because eventually we all screw up and we can only hope there'll be someone there to forgive us when it's our turn.
Hi, I'm Sam. I'm your sister, and this is Roly. He's your nephew. It's really nice to meet you. Oh, holy shit, there's a soft hand. What are you doing here? Don't we have a gig to get to? Well, I'm glad you said that, because I figured out the bare minimum we need to make this band work. What's that? Two bears. <laughs> right, we'll just... Andy! Shelley! You're here! I saw your post online. I can miss it for the world. Do you have time for a drink later? Yeah, definitely. And then, fabulous! Now, our final band is called... Really? The Bam Maximum! Thanks. This the song is about a girl. When I think about you, you make my pants feel all tight. You're crawling round in my head. You taught me all through the night. I see you walk in the room. You make me get the knees. I've not had sex in a while. I'll do whatever you please. I feel my temperature rise. I feel my jaw start to drop. You drive me out of my mind. Don't oh, please just give me a shot. You've got me They're actually pretty good. You've got me begging for more. You're not gonna let them win, are you? Not a chance. Now come and knock down my dog. Dog. I don't like you. So have you really got a rape whistle? Yeah. I mean, don't take it personally. I bring it to my knitting circle. I've heard them bitches be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the class did an essay on three people they admired. Mm. And Errol picked Alexander Fleming for penicillin, yeah. Edward Jenner for the smallpox vaccine, and you. Me? Mm -hmm. What did I do? <laughs> you were a good person. You're a good teacher. Oh, it's Errol. OK, this better be a real emergency. I'm talking broken leg or alien abduction minimum. Do you know what a cloaca is? It's the whole chickens poop and lay eggs out of. They use it for everything. Everything. Even coitus. Coitus? It's another word for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what coitus is. I thought you had your phone confiscated. Murray Thomas stole it back for me. We're best friends now. thought you hated that guy. He's pretty hilarious once you get to know him. He mooned a goat earlier and it chased him. Plus, he offered to buy me a subscription to New Scientist magazine. That's worth £35. You cheap slut. Yeah, so I don't need you to pick me up anymore. Perfect. Then you go to bed. Cos I've got to go and make some sweet coitus, and if I'm lucky, she'll let me play with her cloaca. And you're great with kids You're caring and you're sensitive But you just don't turn me on like Shelly Shelly girl, you're irresistible You're talented and you rock my world You're just like me except you are a girl But you've got no self-esteem like Gwen does Gwen Just can't choose but 
I'm guessing you're a Vox man, right? Um, yeah, no, um, Marshall, have you seen Errol? I'm sure Mo's taking good care of him. You can trust him with the royal baby, is it? <laughs> what, what, what's going on in there? Oh, just boring stuff. Oh, you can't go in there. It's VIP only. Well, if Errol's VIP, then I'm VVIP. Seriously, I can't let you in there. He'll kill me. Fresh? What the fuck's going on? Look, my name's not Fresh. It's Norman. I'm an intern. Mo asked me to keep you occupied. Occupied from what? Norman. Who wants to hear what the kid can do? Yeah. What's going on here? Sorry, Mo. I, I tried to stop you. You're fired. Oh. Dude, you're going to find out sooner or later. I'm not signing you. Fine. Come on, Errol. No. I'm not signing you. I am signing him. That's crazy, right? Errol? That's crazy, yeah? Sorry. I just can't sell this drunk Elvis thing you got going on. But everyone loves Elvis. Young, cool Elvis. Not peanut butter sandwich dead on the toilet Elvis. You're not Karen, and you're definitely not cool. Uncle Andy, wait. You knew the whole time, didn't you? I wanted to tell you, it's just, with all the money, I could buy you a record label. Or with Mum and Dad, I can fix everything. I just want everyone to be happy. I hope you're happy now. Uh, this is a song I wrote called, uh, Silent Killer. Already sounds like a hit. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've all been told, don't mix raw meat with your veg. Wash your bits, pits and teeth, and your hands on the reg. Wipe down all surfaces after the slaughter and rinse your cutting boards with warm, soapy water. Now you might ask, what's a little blood splatter? Well, health and safety is no laughing matter. Unless you want salmonella, E. coli, listeria, and pink eye. Shelley, you like my music, right? Not now, Andy. Oh, go on, it's important. Please. You buy my album, right? Honestly? It's not really my thing, but I wouldn't throw it away. I mean, my nan's bought me every Susan Ball album and I've kept them all, so... Oh, great. Fucking Subo. Sushi Great Tune is the only kind of raw fish that anyone should ever try and have in a raw dish. Otherwise, mouse is a red puffy tongue while nematodes go swimming round in your lung. Talk about space and series, somebody's lips a cat. And people play cats watch catching rats. And evil chickens, the worst of the bunch. Calling and planning on how to spoil your lunch. So don't accept me from a dodgy looking fella. Better yet, don't eat, so you won't get salmonella. Errol, everyone! Wasn't that great? Smells like a number one! More like a number two? What the hell was that? I heard someone clapping. That was Radio 4. Don't you know any Bieber? You said I could do my own songs. Yeah, if they're about kissing girls and sexting, not kitchen hygiene. Now play something cool. The kitchen hygiene is cool. Not if you want to go platinum. Now are you going to play something else or what? I don't want to go platinum. I want to go to the planetarium. Errol, 